morning coming to you from my favorite place to be on site look at the progress you can see we've started painting outside that's the first coat we're using the color tack white guys are busy with the rhino boards putting them into the ceiling so the installation's gone in and i'll show you what that looks like inside progress 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 we're underway Morning guys, it's 8.30 and I am ready to go to site, leaving Stellenbosch. I've just picked up my favorite coffee. It's a whole mood and that's what I'm feeling today. I've managed to get a child-free gap in the week to go through to the site. It's an exciting day. Our builder's meeting me there and we're going to run through quite a few of the finishing details and the color combinations for the bathrooms. We've taken a receipt of the tiles. I haven't seen it. The floors as well as some of the outdoor lighting. So I'm going to have a look at what's arrived on site and share that with you. And he's also called for delivery of taps. So I think there's going to be massive progress in the next week or two. The ceilings are officially in. They were a struggle apparently and have taken a lot longer than expected because our roof was a lot more complicated than the guys had originally thought. So I'm excited to share with you that final insulated ceiling. And then just to see what else is going on on that side. I think that is the, the mystery box that sometimes is uh, working far away. You obviously get sent photos, but there's nothing like getting in there and seeing, seeing the real space. So I am going to pop in a podcast for an hour and enjoy this adult time and my cup of coffee and the beautiful drive to Onerous. And I can't wait to show you what's going on on the other side. See you there. Bye. Right. So the first change is painted walls. No more yellow. And we have beautiful ceilings in place. See the open rafters have been painted. And we have done drop shadow ceilings. Let's start to see the detail coming through. It's amazing. It's amazing how when you transition from spaces, some feel so unfinished to others are a pretty perfect work in progress. There's something so soothing about newly painted white walls and I'm in love with this color, Tack White from Dulux. Check out this little sketch, I don't know if you can see it, but we spent some time drawing our dream house on the wall and now it is being hidden behind what is our dream family home. So saying goodbye to the sketch and exploring the work in progress a little bit further. Talking about work in progress, I want to show you where we've got to on our journey with floors. How beautiful is this final wood color? It's from a range called Augusta that is stocked by lime green sourcing and the color tone is golden bell. Save that color because it is amazing. It's got this beautiful light oak wooden feeling about it as well as these stunning knots that makes it feel just so natural and light underfoot 
and we're going to be pairing the vinyl with some stucco flooring these are some of the colors that are available in the stucco range i'm tending towards the right hand side and as close as the top right one looks to cement in color i'm thinking it's actually going to work the best with our color scheme that color is pebble and i just think it'll be quite forgiving in terms of our family and needs as much as i love this lighter white color it gives you all the dreamy beach house feels I don't think our family life stage is going to be able to handle these white floors and I won't be able to be a cleaning captain 24-7. This colour just feels really dark and the scheme on the left, as beautiful as the creams are, I just don't think they work with our white walls, which is that tack white colour from Dulux. So loving the scheme and this floor is Augusta Golden Bell that we're going with. So one of the amazing brands that I'm working with is Lifetime Lighting. They are a business based up in KZN in Peter Maritzburg. And what I love about them is that everything is manufactured locally in South Africa. And it's an all women team of manufacturers. Our proudly coastal quality, which is something you don't actually find a lot of around. I think they are unique in South Africa in their proposition. And I've worked with them in sourcing all our outdoor lighting for the house. It's arrived in the most beautiful packaging. Everything, I must just say, is there's no plastic, which I love. It's beautifully stamped to say that it's made in South Africa, handcrafted, and then every single light is hand labeled. I mean, how cool is this name? A spy light. So here we go. My spy light. Do -do -do. I can't wait to show you these in situ. It's gonna take a few more weeks. Right, I'm down in the store area of our build and I want to show you the beautiful tiles that have arrived from Lime Green Sourcing. I'm squinting because I'm peering into the sun. It's like a dark cave in here. But let me rather turn the camera around and show you what's happening with our tiles. And I've been quite brave in terms of my color choice journey. Well, I think I've been quite brave. This is the Artisan White. And as you can see, even the white isn't just plain, boring white. It's got beautiful amount of texture and tactility to it i've got those in in the squares almost like the typical johnson and johnson shape and then also in the more brick style and then in the brick style ones i've got okra which you might not be able to pick up the difference here on screen but you can see it's a slight creamy color i'm gonna get, take it out of the storeroom into the natural light that's a better way of seeing it. And then Albasta is this beautiful gray color. Just love the way that they look handmade and they've got the variants in them. And then my brave choice, since the theme of the house is the greenhouse, I went with this moss green. It's this deep emerald rich color. You can see it popping maybe with some pink paint accents. I haven't thought about exciting paint colors. And yeah, so these are the tiles and we're going to transform them different looks for each of the bathrooms that I'll be sharing with you. Looking forward to getting them going on the walls. back in my quiet happy space the car i just wanted to say yeah thank you so much for watching guys it's great to be able to document and share this journey i just appreciate all the love that i receive be it online or the phone calls about the progress and i hope we can look back and laugh at this and just reminisce on yeah the change one day to come and especially to say a big thanks to Lindsay and her team from lifetime lighting who have helped me with those outdoor lights as well as stuart and the guys from lime green sourcing for the flooring and those brave child choices i can't wait to show you the final final product but for now i'm just hopping off to say have a great week stay safe and looking forward to sharing more of the journey with you as this goes 
hopefully a little bit sooner at the next episode. Stay safe. Bye.